everybody and welcome back on board. We've uh, just spent a lovely 24 hours in the lovely city of San Francisco. And we've just arrived on board. We're going to start with our cockpit preparation now, um, making sure that all our systems are up and running and ready to get started. So just up here on the overhead panel, I've just switched on our ADERs and um, IRSs. We put each of those on and then we'll independently check the position of the aircraft and get them aligned. Uh, also up here I've switched on the seatbelt sign, the no smoking sign. Um, I've started up the APU to get some air conditioning going in the cabin. I'm just waiting for the refuel in process to finish before I uh, switch on the fuel pumps. And then once we talk to coordinate with the ground we'll uh, switch off the external power and um, we'll disconnect the external power. So other than that, for the overhead panel, Airbus have a lights out uh, philosophy. So uh, once we are ready for pushback, we'll be looking for just six lights on the overhead panel. We have this recorder light here should be on. And um, we'll have our three APU lights. And as I said, these will be extinguished as well. So it'll just be, and this will be extinguished. So that's about it. Um, I'm going to load the box now, which is uh, going to be done down here. We're going to upload our flight plan for the night. I've just sent off this request there for the IN. Very good. Owen's helping so me a bit with that while I'm busy about, chatting. In about four minutes' time, yeah. that should arrive. And um, we'll be departing off the Westley runway tonight, which should give us a lovely view of the city and also the Golden Gate Bridge again. And um, then we're heading to Dublin. It's quite a long flight time for us, nine hours 50, which is quite long for the return leg. Uh, as is arriving in Dublin, quite a blustery morning tomorrow in Dublin. Uh, winds coming up to about max crosswinds for the westerly runway there in Dublin. So I'm going to get busy now so we don't delay our departure for our guests and we'll talk to you again later in the flight. Thank you. Good evening, Shamrock 146, stand 95, clearance please for Dublin. Shamrock 146, Kelsey, San Francisco, clearance clear to Echo, India, Delta, Whiskey Airport via Santana 2 departure, Orca transition, Quebec 120, Galley, direct Battle Mountain, then a filed. Climb via the SID, squat 3377. Sure, 146 heavy clear to uh, Dublin Santana 2 departure, Orca transition, Quebec 120, Galley Battle Mountain, and squat 3377. So, 337. 337 is in on side 2 there, and above for takeoff. Super. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, the captain speaking. My name is Owen Fitzgibbon, on behalf of myself and Captain Kevin Quinn in the cockpit, First Officer Fiona Bonk, you're all very welcome on board our Lingus service to Dublin. Still loading the uh, last of the bags, we're a bit ahead of schedule this evening, we should be pushing back in about 10 minutes time at um, 20 past 5. Flight time to Dublin then this evening is going to be 9 hours and 50 minutes. It's a pleasant evening for flying, there should be good views as we take off to the west here in San Francisco this evening, we'll be turning left after takeoff. Sorry, turning right up to take off um, out past the Golden Gate Bridge, heading up towards the Sacramento area, climbing to 33,000 feet initially. Forecast for Dublin in the morning, typical January morning in Dublin, they're expecting it to be quite wet and windy on arrival, but very mild, temperatures about 13 degrees centigrade. In the meantime, sit back and relax, make yourselves comfortable, I hope you enjoy the flight. Fiona is flying us to Dublin this evening and she'll talk to you again en route with some more information about the flight routing and to update you on the arrival time into Dublin in the morning. Thank you. So we've looked at this, air conditioning on, anti-ice off, a flex takeoff, 196.7, and we've checked the conditions. It's 2.8 left, full length. A zero yeah. shift, it'll yeah. be a flap one takeoff. One's confirmed. Flex of 51 degrees. Flex of 51. Engine out acceleration is 15.20 standard. Checks. And then we have a V1 of 148. 148. 148 for a VR. 148. 155 V2. And just uh, a cross 155, check. 155, yeah. Cross check 225 is our clean speed for that weight. That checks. I'm very happy. We might leave this open just in case they give us 28 right yeah, at the last moment sometimes. Happen. So if we leave yeah. that um, immediate briefing and then we'll do a check and then right. we can uh, get push. So we've been cleared. Um, on the Santana 2 departure out of uh, San Francisco. Yep. So we have our plates on the uh, tablets, but just for the briefing, we'll use our books so we can good, talk yeah. together if that's okay. Yeah. So that's on page 4 60. It shows us taking off off runway 28 left. Um, the initial and then the written part of, the, of it is going to be on page 5 60. Yep. 
so for runway 28 left. So it's a heading of 284 and at 520 feet we go direct to King, Kirlos, Santana. So in the flight plan there we have 520 feet, King, Kirlos, Santana. I've checked the tracks and distances in the box. Um, initial climb clearance is to 3000 feet, 3000 is set and it's displayed in blue. Checks. It says here to contact 120.9 and it's expect to file altitude 10 minutes after departure. So just looking at the picture then, taking off to the west, there are the points we've just checked, and then we're doing an Orca transition, which takes us out on this track of 035 towards Orca. Checks. So just looking in the box there, it brings us on out to Orca, and the track is checked. Just having a quick look for big picture at the high ground and sector safe, so we've 35. As we head up north, there is some high ground of 51. Right. If we did have a problem, we're coming back in for runway 28 left. Yep. Uh, we'll have to keep that high ground uh, in our minds. Yeah. If we're out here, we can always make a left turn. Yeah, back a left turn out to sea would be sensible, exactly. wouldn't it, for a circuit yeah. back in and. Uh, and if we're back side. here, we'll be under radar vectors back in. Yeah, okay. That sounds like a good plan. Other than that, there uh, is an emergency turn. Just have a quick look at that. So the emergency turn for runway 28 left is on page 4-04. Yep. And it says, for takeoff, we're going to climb on runway track at 3.1 from the SFO, which is on the rad navs there. We have it on both sides. I see that. And it's set up here. Um, at 3.1 miles, this is track 301, and after flap retraction, continue to sector MSA. So sector MSA is going to be 3.5 again. Okay. And contact ATC. Very good. Um, so then just a quick look at the taxi. We're both familiar enough with the airfield. We're on stand 95, 95 yeah. today. So from the Gulf area stand, 95 is just halfway down the pier here. We'll be pushing back probably tail into the pier. Yeah. And um, then once we've got our checks completed and we're ready for taxi, they'll probably clear us to taxi up as far as point 10. Right. And then to contact ground. Once we contact ground, he'll transfer us normally to Alpha. As we taxi out via Alpha then, we're picking um, it up back here on, on the chart. So yep. taxiing out via Alpha all the way round, it's to hold short of uh, runway 01, normally on this Foxtrot taxiway here. Right. And there's two runways to cross, they are being and they are used, used for takeoff. And they are used as runways tonight. Both so it's be very clear that we've got clearance right. for both runways uh, once we have clearance to cross. Sure. And it's continuing up Foxtrot for a full length of 28 left. Okay. The threats during the taxi, this traffic could be coming out from the different uh, taxiways, we'll keep an eye for that. Crossing the active runways, and as I mentioned earlier, the last minute change from 28 left right. to 28 right. If we get it, we'll stop, we'll take our time, get the correct figures, make sure all the correct stuff's in the box. Lovely. And are you happy to leave 28 left in to come back even if we take off on the right? Yeah, we I, think still so. come back I think so, I think so, yeah. Okay. The longer. Um, other than that, threats, it's late at night, it's already 20 past one Irish time, so yeah. uh, just be alert for tiredness. We do have three sets of eyes in the cockpit. Very good. There's no weather threats out of here tonight. And um, just sometimes off the westerly runway, there's that inversion that yeah, might give us. Yeah, the evening time you get a temperature inversion, yeah. so we'll keep an eye on that. We we'll just yeah. keep an eye on that, and I'll just keep a, a sensible pitch. The flight director will do, do a bit of bobbling, yeah. but you can just pitch okay. through it. Okay. So yeah. other than that, any questions? No, that's great, Fiona. Thank you very much. And very I will take a check, please. Okay. So the before start check. So again, just as I mentioned earlier, checking that I have my six lights. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, cockpit preparation. Cockpit preparation is complete. Ramp, good evening to you. It's the Shamrock 146 Heavy. We're on stand 95. Fully ready, requesting push and start. Shamrock 146 Heavy Ramp, good evening. Push is approved, advising ready for taxi. Push back approved, we'll advise you ready for taxi. Shamrock 146 Heavy. Cockpit to ground. Copy. Our pushback is approved now. The parking brake is still set. Release brakes, please. Brake release now, and you are clear to push back. seen my side. Fantastic. For taxi please, Shamrock 146. 
Okay, so we're clear to cross, cross one the left, left side, stroke one on, the right. one short the right side. That's checked. We can see that traffic on the right South side. Tower, Southwest 1301, visual to the left. Right. So there's traffic holding Travis on this one, mate. 709 Lima, wind 3386, traffic holding position on 28, R nav tight, runway 1 right, clear for takeoff. United 586, runway 1 right, clear for takeoff. United 586, sorry about that, on the wrong button, clear to go, 1 right. Compass 5738, contact ground 124.25. Bye bye, 5738. United 1243, cross from 88 left, and contact ground 124. Or question, hold your right, 88 left. Cross this ILS line, visual approaches. Uh, Southwest 2390, San Francisco turn, and one left line of way, travel to part 28. One left line of way, Southwest 2390. Coast Guard 6526, radar contact passing 400. Cautionary turbulence, heavy Airbus will pass off your left. 6526, Roger, looks like that. Scanning 936, heavy wind 330 at 7, runway 28 left, clear for takeoff, so traffic 2 miles, heavy, we don't upwind need any... will remain north of the air departure yeah, corridor. She's clear to land her as well. Yeah, 38 uh, left, uh, take off, get on the red line, 36 heavy. Tower, even United 112, a uh, FMS bridge visual to 8 right. United 112, San Francisco Tower, caution with turbulence, heavy Airbus will depart the parallel, wind 3, C06, runway 28 right, clear to land. 28 right, clear to land, United 112. Tower, going evening, down to 0040, bound to our left. Sherman 146, heavy, wind 3, C06, runway 28 left, clear for takeoff. Set for takeoff, runway 28 left, Sherman 146, heavy. Oh, oh, Francisco Tower, Foster, Turbulence, Heavy Airbus departing, wind 3, 2, 0, 6, runway 2, 8, left, clear to land. Roger, left, clear to land, NC 0, 4. Stabilized. Setting flex. Man flex 51, SRS, runway, auto thrust blue, runway update. Thrust is set, indications all normal. Positive climb checks, gear up. Gear up. Nav green. South 914, cross from 28 left, contact ground 124.25. Cross 28 left and over to ground for Delta 914. Shamrock 146, heavy contact, Norcat approach, good night. Norcat approach, Shamrock 146, good night now, thank you. The 2002, Mike Alpha. 
Dark Tower. Good evening, Shamrock 146 Heavy, out of 1300 for 3000, Santana departure. Shamrock 146 Heavy, North Tower departure, at our contact, climb and maintain 10,000. Climb and maintain 10,000, Shamrock 146 Heavy. Cannon Navy 936 Heavy, turn right, heading so 020, climb and maintain climb. one level one nine or zero. Sorry, lever climb, the thrust climb I have. And climb level one nine or zero, Cannon Navy 936 Heavy. 10,000 feet is blue. S plus increasing, flap zero. Speed checks. Canada 3000, altimeter 3025, they're using runway 31. Checks. Copy 2 Mike Alpha, kind of take autopilot 2 please. AP2 and the after takeoff check. Bay Rally 7700 checking in 4000 Yankee. Bay Rally 7700 North Carolina Approach Rider. So the after takeoff. The, the, the landing gear. Right. The landing gear is up to the roof. Flaps. Open. Flaps are retracted. Cannon AV 936 Heavy. Packs are open. on and, and pressurizing. Thank you is all. Let's get another one. The barrel reference. The barrel reference we're on 3025 passing 3000. 800 feet now for 10,000 feet blue. And takeoff check completed. The bridge is going to be shrouded, isn't it? A little bit of a cloud it might there. might get a bit of a view of it, yeah. Zulu turn out open, wind 290 at 6, visibility 10, 2,000 yeah. at 3,100, and now altimeter is 3026. Heavy traffic, 11 o'clock, 3 miles southeast down. Is the uh, Embraer jet? They're restricted above you. Roger, one person has copied. Okay. Bombus. After four pops here, can I ignore Cal approach? One two five point three five. One two five point three five. Four pops here. Good night. Good night. It's a lovely view of the city. Shamrock one forty six heavy. Proceed direct to Orca. Sorry, it's Orca. Shamrock one forty six. So, direct to Orca with the beams confirmed. Yeah, that'll even improve the view now. Yeah. Contact approach 12432. 12432, Sherman 1469. Flight Valley 7700, traffic 12 o'clock, stop. Norcock, good evening, Sherman 146 heavy out of 11,000 for flight level 190, we're direct to Orca. Sherman 146 heavy, Norcock.